Well, hello, Illinois Association FFA and everyone tuning in to uh, watch the video. I uh, sure appreciate you uh, taking the time here to uh, listen about Lakeland College. I uh, sure am appreciative of the opportunity uh, anytime I can to uh, speak about Lakeland, a program that I'm very uh, passionate about, both as a uh, alumni and now as a current uh, employee. So, uh, again, just want to give a shout out and say thank you, Illinois Association FFA, the FK staff, uh, Megan Coy, uh, for this opportunity. Uh, just to make sure that I have good audio, uh, good picture, if someone could uh, give me a comment uh, here, I sure would uh, appreciate that to make sure I'm not just uh, speaking uh, and no one can hear me. So I would sure appreciate that. So as we get a few people uh, logging on here, uh, Emma, thank you. Uh, see the chat there. Appreciate that. Uh, and we'll, uh, we'll kind of get into some of the questions here a little bit later. I thought what I would do is just start out by telling you uh, a little bit about myself, uh, go through a holistic uh, kind of an overview of Lakeland College, and then really get specific into uh, agriculture careers, uh, different degrees that would put you on a path uh, to obtaining a, a career. And so again, uh, so thankful for this opportunity, uh, really a neat uh, project to work on. So my name's Ryan Oric. I'm the Agriculture Division Chair at Lakeland College. Uh, I'm in my ninth year, completing my ninth year. Uh, this year's been a little different than uh, uh, any year I've had at Lakeland. I'm sure all of you uh, uh, understand what I mean by that. Um, but uh, first uh, four years, I was the uh, Livestock Judging Team Coach and Agriculture Instructor. Uh, the last uh, five years, I've served as Chair for Agriculture here at Lakeland College. I uh, grew up uh, on a, a row crop uh, and livestock farm. I uh, was privileged to have Mr. Cabot as my high school FFA teacher uh, and advisor there at Mount Vernon uh, High School, so very thankful to have him as one of my mentors. Um, <clears throat> came to Lakeland College. It was part of the Ag Transfer uh, program, was on the Livestock Judging Team, uh, went to Kansas State University, uh, completed a bachelor's in animal science, and was on the Livestock Judging Team there as well. Uh, went to Seward County uh, Community College uh, there for my first job in Liberal, Kansas. Was an ag teacher uh, as, a, as an instructor and livestock judging team coach and then came back to SIU Carbondale uh, where I completed a master's in beef cattle reproduction and then ultimately came here to Lakeland College. <clears throat> so um, a little bit about Lakeland College. Uh, Lakeland is located in Mattoon, Illinois. Uh, it's a town of about 18,000 people, so a community of that size. Uh, you get a couple of different grocery stores, Super Walmart, uh, County Market, Buffalo Wild Wings, uh, shopping mall, uh, movie theater. So it's a good community to live in. Um, the, the campus itself has about 5,000 students that will commute to campus each week. Um, so that's about the campus population. So a smaller campus, but yet large enough uh, that it certainly feels like um, it, it has a campus feel to it. Um, we're going to speak a lot about agriculture majors today, but I realize some of you watching this, agriculture may not be the path you're looking at. And so I would just like to, you know, uh, remind you or bring attention to the fact that uh, we have seven different academic divisions on campus. Uh, allied health, uh, social science, math science, business, technology. So maybe you're considering a career in one of those areas. And um, yeah, we got a lot of good people around uh, campus there <clears throat> uh, for you to take a look at. And that's one thing I would say as we get into uh, this presentation, if you have an interest, if something we talk about here, you know, really sparks something that you're interested in, please just there in the comments, uh, just put what that is, what you're interested in. I know we've got a few people um, on here uh, kind of monitoring the chat uh, that can kind of help get you some information. I will do my best job I can to answer those questions. The other thing, I believe it shows up our Lakeland College uh, address, www.lakelandcollege.edu. If there's something you would like to have more information on, uh, go to our webpage there and you can uh, click uh, request more information, or if you're a senior in high school, you'd like to fill out an intent to enroll, that's a great way to get in our system. Uh, but again, if you, if you have a question or you have an interest, if you can put it here in the comments, um, 
Again, we'll do our best here to get with you today or here over the week and get you that information. So <clears throat> to kind of talk about agriculture majors, um, agriculture is a great career to consider. Uh, it's for everybody. You don't have to grow up on a farm. There's a lot of different facets uh, that you can get involved with. And we feel like we have a very well-rounded, diverse uh, program here at Lakeland College. And so we'll just kind of talk about the different programs and then we'll go right into um, kind of more of a question than answer situation. So <clears throat> I know there's a few uh, uh, questions coming in and we'll kind of address those. Uh, I'll just go through these different programs real quick. Um, so for those of you that are interested in ag mechanics, you are mechanically inclined. Uh, I'm envious of you. Uh, that is not my skill set or uh, what I'm good at. I wish I were. Uh, we've got two really neat opportunities for you at Lakeland. So we have what we call, uh, for our ag mechanic uh, type students, our John Deere Tech Program. Uh, we have a corporate partnership with John Deere Company, and those students are going to come to Lakeland, and they are going to train to be a John Deere technician or work on uh, equipment in the John Deere field, uh, be involved with that. So <clears throat> if you've driven around uh, your local community, and you've seen a John Deere dealership, there's a high likelihood that a technician or technicians in uh, that particular location were trained at Lakeland College. And so those that are looking to be a technician or all, go all the way up into management, whatever it might be, uh, that's a, a very neat program. And again, if you have an interest in that, let us know. Uh, for those of you that maybe are looking for more uh, diversity, and the equipment that you work on, whether it be agriculture equipment, or if you are looking more into the diesel truck side of things, we have our diesel and ag power technology program that would allow that. So we got two different ag mechanic uh, uh, programs, and both are very competitive. Uh, the instructors in those, uh, Russ New, Robert Miller, Matt Rogers, they're on the John Deere side, and Woody Reinhardt on the diesel and ag power all come to us with a lot of uh, experience in that field, not just teaching, uh, but more specifically out in the field. So those are great people to be in a lab with. Um, <clears throat> maybe you're interested in horticulture. Uh, we have uh, Dyke Barkley as our instructor for horticulture. Uh, those of you that are looking to uh, pursue a greenhouse management, greenhouse production type degree. Um, maybe it's your own landscaping business. Uh, Dyke has over uh, 20 years experience owning his own greenhouse, and he's a great person to have out there and, and learn from. <clears throat> um, our ag business, ag production degrees, I'll kind of put those two uh, together because there's a lot of uh, carryover between the two. Uh, probably the biggest distinction, if you think ag business and supply, uh, think about a local co-op that you have. Uh, think about uh, precision technology, precision farming, uh, different agronomy type degrees, kind of a brick and mortar. That would be the students going into the ag business and supply side of things. Um, ag production management, those are students that are probably looking a little more towards the production of food and fiber or kind of in a, in a livestock produ production setting or a row crop production setting. You know, those would be uh, kind of students that would be geared more for that side. We have uh, those programs as well. Those are what we call our AAS programs or Associate in Applied Science. Those are workforce ready programs that have 26 weeks worth of internship built in to um, that, that particular program. So <clears throat> those are great ways to really hone in um, in the particular area that you're interested uh, in, in any of those AAS degrees and develop great uh, contacts, great networking, and again, kind of get you on that pathway to those different types of uh, careers. So those would all be AAS programs, workforce ready. Uh, they do transfer on, again, a little more selective, uh, our three uh, more popular institutions uh, to transfer to Illinois State Western SIU Carbondale for our AAS students uh, would would go more you know in those universities if they wanted to continue on. Um, so yeah, it looks like we got a question: How many uh, agriculture instructors? Uh, there are nine of us. Um, you know, we talked about the ag mechanics and horticulture. So the other instructors: Hayden Wilder, uh, who also serves as our livestock judging team coach. Uh, Ryan Wildman, Ag Business, Ag Education, 
again, very uh, talented individual. Both of them are. Uh, Mark Niemerg is our agronomist on campus uh, as well. So those would be our AAS programs. If you want to go ahead and uh, start asking some questions here in the chat, I'll go through and, and kind of answer those that have already came in. Uh, we do not have a culinary uh, program uh, at uh, Lakeland uh, that's affiliated with agriculture, but thank you for the question. Um, as those questions and comments are coming in, uh, the other program I'd tell you we have at Lakeland specific to agriculture is our ag transfer program. So that's, uh, that's a program that I went through, uh, Lakeland to Kansas State, and those students that know they want to go to the University of Illinois, Purdue, Iowa State, Kansas State, Oklahoma State, Texas A&M, South Dakota State, um, Texas Tech, those are just a few here this year. I know we have students transferring to Murray State. Um, that would be the right program for you. Uh, that's our ag transfer uh, program. Those kind of knowing that they want to go on to University of Illinois or an out-of-state uh, institution. So I'm going to pause here and see if I can uh, mess something up and go back through some of the uh, questions here. Again, appreciate all of you um, reaching out here and, and watching the video here live or those of you that will watch it later. Emma asks, uh, what encouraged you to return to Lakeland College to teach? Uh, it was always kind of a dream job uh, to get back here. I love my time at Lakeland College. I uh, love the people. And again, it, uh, it was, uh, uh, for me, it was a natural fit. I knew I wanted to coach the livestock judging team, and uh, it's a dream come true. Uh, so those would be a couple of quick uh, reactions to your question. But it's been a great place here for me professionally and personally, uh, wife, two kids, uh, raising a family, and again, going to work every day, uh, watching people discover their passions, um, discover their you know purpose, get that dream job, go on in their lives. Uh, it's, a, it's a great job. So hopefully that answers your questions. How do you recommend students uh, make the decision about where they want to go to college? Um, as far as um, making your decision, number one thing, and I'll say it probably again with other questions, go visit. Uh, that you, you don't know what you don't know. And so go visit, see if it's a natural fit as far as choosing the college that you want to go to. Meet with those instructors. And again, make sure it's what, what you want because it, it's an important decision right? In, in high school, if you live in this district, it's kind of predetermined you will go to that high school. Uh, but college is really the first, you know, adulting uh, type decision that most people get to make. Um, that's truly, they've got a lot of different options. So go visit, make sure it's the right fit. And again, we would love to have you at Lakeland College uh, come in and, and see, um, you know, see if it is the right fit for you. All right. What is my favorite part about the Lakeland campus? Uh, physically, um, the campus itself is a really uh, pretty aesthetically appealing type campus. Uh, they've planted a lot of trees, shrubs, keep it well maintained. Uh, I like the fact that it's got enough size to it to feel like a campus, but yet it's small enough, it's very functional to uh, get around. Uh, you know, if you've been to Lakeland, the pun was intended. We do have a lot of round buildings. The campus is set up in a circle, uh, but, it, but it is easy to get around. I don't have to worry about, you know, waiting for a parking spot or, you know, something like that. So that those would be a couple of things there. Physically, uh, what do I like about campus more, you know, hol holistically? Um, the people, I uh, really enjoy the people I work with, the students that I get to work with. You know, those would be some things just about going to campus every day that I sure enjoy. Again, we don't have culinary arts and ag. Um, advice for college students graduating and going into the workforce. Um, <clears throat> boy, that's a, that's a loaded question there. Uh, I would say, you know, advice is treat people the right way. Again, you never know if that's going to be the career that you'll be in for 30 years or one year. So treat people right, take advantage of every opportunity uh, to, you know, have a positive impact and, um, you know, be curious with your career. Don't ever settle for anything, uh, but the main thing is conduct business in the, in the right way. That would be my advice to students uh, going out in the workforce.
Clubs, extracurricular activities. All right, that's uh, that's a good one. That kind of segues to the last thing that I had on my uh, sheet here to talk about. Um, so clubs and teams, I'll group those together. Uh, appreciate uh, you know that question. Uh, livestock judging team, again, came with my livestock judging hat. Uh, a, very supportive, very proud alumni of that place. Uh, very proud of the the people that we have in place uh, there, Hayden, uh, coaching that group. And the other thing is, this is like week seven of the uh, pandemic. My barber's been closed, so that's the other reason I got my hat on. So, enough rambling. Uh, the livestock judging team uh, would be probably one of the, the more popular ones that we have on campus. We have a long uh, history and tradition of competitive livestock judging teams. And again, I can't say enough about Hayden Wilder and the job that he's doing. Uh, that group w puts in a lot of hours, a lot of time, uh, a lot of work. And again, we're very fortunate to have some very talented people. Uh, Collegiate Farm Bureau, I think we're in our third year, maybe fourth, maybe fourth year of Collegiate Farm Bureau. That's another uh, uh, group that's really, um, you know, developing, evolving. We're figuring Collegiate Farm Bureau out. Uh, we, uh, Dyke Barkley and myself are both the advisors, and again, that's one that has a lot of promise, very active uh, type club on campus. Uh, PAS, Professional Agriculture Student, is another one um, that we have a lot of students compete in. Uh, we've had a lot of uh, success there at the state and national level, uh, not the national the last two years. Uh, it's been canceled, but uh, again, uh, definitely PAS is something I enjoy uh, working with. Uh, ag Transfer Club, for those uh, Ag Transfer students, uh, our Horticulture Club, and uh, Dyke Barkley, our Horticulture Program uh, Coordinator, also kind of unique, not really a club or a team, but he does a study abroad uh, to Belize, and uh, conveniently takes that trip in late December, early January, where it's like 70, 80, 90 degrees while the rest of us are freezing, so that's another thing our Lakeland College students have the ability to uh, you know, participate in a study abroad, which is unique to us. Another question here, um, things that they'll find at Lakeland College they might not find elsewhere. Um, so, you know, I, I don't know what, what a lot of other schools do. Um, I think some things that are unique about Lakeland that I know are some of our strengths, maybe I'll answer that question that way. Uh, we have nine different instructors. Uh, because of our size, our agriculture division is about 300 students for the last five years. That's been our enrollment. Um, we have nine instructors. We all get to teach our discipline and what our passion is, what our advanced degrees are in. So we're a little bit like a university from that standpoint. Um, not one person's trying to teach a lot of different areas. So that's, you know, something I know for us and not just nine different people, but nine very talented people. Uh, there in the Ag Division. Uh, the other thing I think you'll find at Lakeland, because we are a smaller, um, you know, community, even though our district is big, our population is very rural is what I'm trying to say. Even, even outside your Ag classes, you're going to find teachers across campus, whether it's a math science, wherever it might be, that have some tie to agriculture. So when you come in and you say that I'm an ag agriculture student, they're not going to look at you like, what is that? Why would you do that? So you're going to be a farmer. Um, they're going to have an appreciation because either they grew up on a, on a farm or an agriculture operation. They have family uh, that's involved there with an agriculture type uh, field. So I think that's the other thing unique uh, because of our setting. I think there's a, a respect and appreciation for agriculture students. So I hope that answers your question. That was a long one, I know. Um, Hayden, we've sure enjoyed your first year uh, at Lakeland as well. Um, scholarships, very good one. Uh, so we have our foundation uh, scholarship uh, for the college. Um, and so that, uh, that has, I don't know how many millions of scholarships they, they have there, but it's a lot. Uh, and then specific to agriculture, we gave out 90 agriculture scholarships to 300 students. So about a 30% chance those ranged anywhere from uh, 100 bucks all the way up to full books, tuition, and fees. So those would be some of the uh, scholarships uh, that, that we would have. Uh, I know I'm getting kind of out on my 20 minutes, so Megan, if you want to let me know if I have to log off, but... 
Um, sure appreciate the questions, and I'll stay on here as long as we have questions rolling in. Don't see any more questions coming in. Again, if you have any of those, please uh, let me know. Uh, again, I would just remind you that uh, if you would like information about Lakeland College, please reach out to us. That's the other advice I'd have and leave you with is uh, my email. Uh, you know, uh, go to the Lakeland College webpage there. Get a hold of us. We'd love to talk with you about Lakeland. Go visit uh, again as we kind of finish up the uh, video. Thank you, Emma. Uh, as we finish up here, the video, whether you're watching it live or you watch it later, uh, good luck to each of you. Go visit, uh, find the right fit for you. And uh, again, if you have anything that we can be of help with, uh, anything that we can be of help with, please let us know. So hope all of you are staying safe. And again, appreciate you taking the time to uh, watch the video.